Today, we're going to continue talking about PowerFX syntax. Next up is the comma. Commas are used to separate inputs and our functions. Take a look at this button. When we click this, if I want to have it open up a new web page, we can use the launch function that we talked about a few videos ago. If I just start typing launch and open that parenthesis, you can see what it expects. We need to pass it in an address. So I'll paste in an address in quotes here. And you'll notice that there are a few optional parameters that we can pass it in. And how do we separate those optional parameters? That's with the comma. Now I can see it expects some parameters that we can pass optionally. And then if I do another comma, I can see that it expects a target. So those commas are what's separating out all of the different parameters and the inputs that we're passing in to a particular function. Now, one thing that I need to point out here when we talk about the comma is that this does vary depending on your region. If you're in a country or a region that uses a comma for a decimal separator, then this will be different for you. Anytime that you see a comma, instead you'll use a semicolon. 